Hi there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. So tonight I'm actually going to be reshooting a target that I did around a month ago. Uh, it's M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy in Ursa Major. Um, the last time I shot it, I, it was actually underneath a full moon uh, and I'm doing it for a video to see how it went, you know, shooting targets with all this light pollution and then a full moon on top of it. And uh, it was all right. But on the whole, I actually wasn't completely satisfied with the image. And I mentioned back then that I'd like to reshoot it. And uh, fortunately, tonight is going to be clear through till dawn. Uh, and I think this is the perfect opportunity to try and do so. Well guys, it's dark enough now that I can get set up and finally make a start on M51. Um, the eagle eyed among you might notice that the scope and mount is actually in a slightly different position tonight. Uh, and I've done that in anticipation of hopefully being able to stay on this target all night. And uh, if I'd have left it kind of like right next to me here, um, I would have lost M51 into the kind of the roof of the house early in the morning, I think. Uh, whereas this way, with it just moved back a couple of feet, Hopefully it should be able to just kind of skirt the roof and not uh, be blocked by it. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Well, I've just finished getting set up now. Uh, I've set it off to play itself to M51. Uh, before that, of course, I had to do a polar alignment because I've moved the scope's position. Normally I use some little indents on the floor, which I can put it in every single time. And uh, as long as nothing gets dramatically knocked, uh, it's almost always polar aligned extremely well, even without really having to check. But um, yeah, that's done now. That only took two minutes. And uh, I should be able to get started as soon as this autofocus is finished running. Uh, I should be able to get started on M51 and begin capturing data. So I've just got started shooting on M51 now. Uh, everything seems to be going great. Um, I had a few comments recently on some videos, uh, very kindly left by people who were asking me why am I using a UV IR cut filter? And basically the reason is because I wasn't aware that my camera actually does also block UV. Um, now, the cover glass, is, is, its actual name is D60-2IR uh, and that made me think that it only blocked uh, infrared whereas I've checked the bandpass and actually it does also block ultraviolet too. Um, for those of you who might not know, basically the reason why it's important to block ultraviolet and infrared is because basically any telescope that's not just purely a reflector uh, won't be corrected to focus those wavelengths of light at the same time as the visual spectrum the, that we actually want to capture. Uh, so that leads to kind of like bloated stars and things like that because stars are very strong sources of ultraviolet and infrared energy. Uh, and that's kind of the reason why you want to use those filters to cut that out. I don't know if you'll be able to see there on the screen but I thought you might like to see the first sub-exposure of the night that's came in. That's M51 right there in the middle of the screen and uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty hopeful looking at this because you can already see some of the spiral structure of the galaxy just in one exposure. Well guys, it's about 10 past 1 now and I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, everything's going really well, all things considered. Uh, the only downside is that there's a little bit of smoke passing through um, my field of view from someone's yard fire, but I'm hopeful that won't last all through the night. Uh, and even if it does, the actual impact it's having on my sub-exposures doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, but yeah, I actually spent most of this evening chatting away to a friend of mine called Nigel. He's, uh, he's another YouTuber and I actually met him through this channel, he was commenting early on. 
Uh, in fact, he's one of the guys who told me I should get the Sesto Senso, uh, so I'm thankful for that advice. But yeah, uh, his channel's called Hogarth, I'll link to it down below. He does uh, astronomy content, and uh, yeah, he's a really chilled out guy and nice to chat to. Um, while I'm actually on the subject, uh, I'll mention another guy as well. I've been uh, racking up some time talking to him, and that's Ollie from Ollie's Astro. Uh, he's actually from Down Under, and uh, yeah, he's been taking some great pictures. He's just starting out on his astronomy journey and kind of on YouTube as well, which has uh, been fantastic to follow and see his growth. He's doing really well, and uh, again, just I suppose like most astronomers, he's just a really nice guy to chat to. Uh, definitely go check him out as well, the wonder from down under. <laughs> well guys, unfortunately it looks like the smoke's got quite a lot worse. Uh, I don't know if that's showing up well for you, but it's kind of just blocking out the sky at this point. Um, yeah, I think I can see the flames. Uh, yeah, you can almost see them there on camera. I'll be keeping an eye on this and making sure it looks like it's uh, just in someone's yard and not actually someone's house. Well guys, I've just been out for a little bit of a walk to check on that fire. Um, fortunately I can see the occasional lick of flame coming from whoever's yard it is, so I don't think anybody's in any uh, immediate danger, but it was kind of a bit of an adrenaline rush at least. <laughs> not that you want that at 2 in the morning, um, but yeah, I just thought it was worth a check. Well guys, it's about quarter past two now, and fortunately most of the excitement and worry about that fire has uh, mostly dissipated now, um, along with the smoke, thankfully. Um, I think there is still a little bit present, looking again at my subs, they certainly seem a little bit brighter now than they did earlier in the night, and uh, the moon actually isn't up yet, so it can't be that. Um, but either way, I'm going to stick with it right through till dawn now. I'm, uh, fully committed to making this the best image that I possibly can on the night. Um, I just performed a Meridian flip and so I'm ready to get cracking again and uh, see what I can get. Uh, I thought the smoke were gone but it appears to be uh, back with a vengeance really. Um, You've really got to laugh. I mean, if it's not clouds and it's smoke, I guess you've got to count your blessings. At least it's not snowing on the scope or something right now. <sighs> Dawn's starting to break now, and uh, tonight has just been an absolute pleasure. Um, nights like this are always a pleasure, or at least they always were. And uh, now they're especially even more so because I get to share these like experiences with all you at home. And uh, I know I say it a lot, but I say it because I mean it. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And um, just recently I hit quite a large milestone, which uh, is 500 subscribers. I think right now I'm actually at 521 um, as of recording this. It's not a number I ever thought I'd actually reach. Um, right from starting out basically, I, I thought almost nobody would watch my videos, but it appears that you guys really like them. And uh, I am just so thankful for that fact. I, I absolutely love making the videos. So knowing that I'm gonna be able to share it and you guys will watch and enjoy it and comment and interact with me. It's uh, extremely motivating. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, and I want to keep going and keep growing this channel and maybe see how far it can go. I'm just having a great time and uh, I hope that you are too, genuinely. <laughs>